back, ladies and gentlemen. This is obviously one and only crypto enthusiast, Light Liger here, of course. And today, I'm going to be showcasing you the top 10 upcoming blockchain games. And these are not in any particular order. A lot of them are going to be successful, some more than others. But when we really look at the year 2020, which has been focusing on DeFi, I really believe 21 is going to have a very big focus on layer two solutions and also in NFTs alongside with gaming. And when we look at Wax's release on the Garbage Pale Kids, all of those booster bags sold in 60 minutes and people were selling those decks like three times the price after. And there's a lot of these pre-sales going on for a lot of these NFT games, which you should really capitalize on because some of these are going to be a lot more valuable down the line because NFTs have that rarity. It's not like another token or coin which you can buy later on when it dips nfts are one of a kind and that's where a lot of the investment value comes from and that's why i believe you know investing in uh nft pre-sales is a lot more better on the upside than on actual uh, icos or ideos or any type of a token offering just so you know if you look at the statistics 93 or was it 96 percent of the icos have gone down from their initial sale price NFTs are doing pretty well as long as you're going to be uh, buying the very popular games. But uh, without further ado, let's jump into the actual game. So first of all, we have Hash Rush, which is a game that I have done a video on a very long time ago on the alpha. They are launching soft beta, I believe, in August. And this is basically a RTS game. Uh, it is on Windows. And the way it works is that you have this sort of a base where you're building stuff. And then there are these enemies which will be raiding your town. Your job is to basically defend the base, gather resources, and kill these enemies so you can build more stuff and have this sort of a forgery where you can like build more weapons and you have different types of units. It's actually really well done game and this is me talking about the actual alpha version. And there's also like, you can buy basically skins inside the game and you can craft stuff, which you can put then later on on the marketplace. It's gonna be on its own chain, but I think they have right now a token, which is not on the sale though, at least back then it wasn't. And that is gonna be on Ethereum, I believe, but I think they're gonna be eventually migrating to their um, main chain and I think the actual number I'm gonna have it somewhere on the screen I want to say uh, start of August is gonna be the actual open beta the game has gone really far and this is our actual like uh, developers behind it a lot of the problem with gaming has been in blockchain that people who haven't had done games in the past are making games and they are very garbage they don't actually feel like games they feel like sub bar products made like pre the flash era in the early 2000s so yeah but let's move on into the next game this one is called dark country and i actually have bought some of the cards so they have a pre-sale going on i have my link down below so i will get a portion of those sales they also also apps uh, credit cards and paypal if you don't want to pay with crypto and this is going to be uh gothic style i really like the art style because i'm kind of in the goth um, at least i used to be more in the past but uh it's a card game basically in a gothic style very very american you know having all of those influences skeletons and uh western feels and basically uh they're gonna be selling these decks here's a bit of a like uh, look at the actual game mode and there's gonna be an esports uh, support for the game a lot of projects non-crypto have claimed that it doesn't always go too well but i can see uh there's going to be a lot of these card games by the way and it's really hard to say which ones are going to be succeeding uh this is going to be multi-chain so my understanding that btc eth eos and i don't actually no no it's actually you can buy with btc but it's on wax ethereum eos and tron networks and you can trade and transfer between the networks and there's a lot of very cool ideas there. So I'm looking very forward to this. Here's a bit of a part of the roadmap when it's developing, when it's launching and all that. So 
um, there's going to be um, a lot of news in the near future. And definitely, you know, sign up under my link if you're going to be deciding to buy it. It seems like a very good project. I don't know if there's actual gameplay footage yet available, but I mean, it's definitely not a scam. Let's see if we can actually look at a bit of the promo video here, if there's any gameplay involved. But uh, as I said, like the NFT games, uh, especially when it comes to cards, it's such a great idea that you own your own cards and you can't get banned or anything like that and you can play the game. And it seems to be somewhat familiar or similar to the Hearthstone gameplay and a bit of the Le uh, Legend of Terra. So I'm looking forward to this. Stay tuned for videos about it in the future. The next game is Nine Chronicles. This is probably one of the more high-end games available. Um, there has been already a one pre-sale which already sold out. So this is a game where you have dungeons, crafting, it's basically an MMO and strategy. It's kind of like one of those side scroller um, hack and slash games. Well, not really hack and slash, but it's also open source. So anybody could basically do their own moddable version out of it. Instead of having this character, I could have Liger with a sword fighting these creatures. And that just makes really exciting um, premise there so people can do their own forks in case the developers stop working on it anybody can take it over basically that's the beauty of the whole system and it seems a very ambitious project and it, there has been already one alpha and we will be seeing more updates on it in the future I think you can get into the beta right now the pre-sale has started on July 15 but I'm actually, yeah, it's been already sold out, as I told you. So everything has been sold. But definitely keep your eyes on this because this is going to be big. This is probably going to be much more higher end. And Asians love this art style, the kind of anime, uh, Mabel story type of style. And I think it's going to be having a uh, lot more popularity in the Asian region. So definitely I am looking forward to this. And I will be probably covering all the games exclusively on the channel at some point or another. Next up, we have a racing game. So people who are into racing, uh, Need for Speed or Flat Out or Mario Kart even, I guess. OX Racers is basically another um, multi-chain um, uh, racing game where you can buy like parts. It's on three chains, EOS, Tron, and Ethereum, and also on Wax, I believe. And basically you race. I don't know if you actually get to control your car. I think you do, but at least, or it's a, like, maybe it's a simulated drive. We don't actually have real gameplay here. Maybe, maybe because this camera footage doesn't really tell us much. So I don't know, but I think uh, it's also another one that has received a lot of, oh yeah, Neo is also involved and Matic. So um, there's a lot of things you can already buy from it with fiat, a lot of those big cryptos, collect your car parts and all of that. And it seems pretty exciting idea. So there's probably a lot of car fanatics out there who are definitely going to be interested in this. But then again, are those people uh, very crypto savvy? I don't know. But definitely another one to look forward to. Has been a long for development, I have to say. So let's see when it's actually going to be. Quarter two is the public beta, so stay tuned for that. Next up, we have Blancos. And this one, maybe there's two games uh, in this list which I would put both put most of the money in. Blancos has to be one. I mean, this is basically the new fucking Minecraft. Um, this one, it feels like it's Minecraft and... I have something on tip of my tongue, like another um, Rob Blocks or something else. And this looks very, very fun. This is for kids, um, but obviously I can see the adults doing... I think there's a map editors and stuff like that. And this seems very large scale. I've seen an actual tech demo played on a, a, a game place. And you can collect these characters and they're going to be selling. I mean, this is going to be fucking huge, guys. Like, okay, I take my... I think this is going to be the number one. So if you're going to be investing in something, it has to be this one. And long as the game doesn't, like, fuck it up uh, totally together. Oh, yeah, I kind of like getting those uh, with those guns. I'm like getting a bit of the Splatoon vibes there, yeah. I mean, this is going to be big. Like, uh, I'm not chilling or anything. This is not a sponsor tick, but goddamn, this looks good. This looks like a AAA game. And imagine all of these skins 
are like going to be on the market. I mean, god damn it. Some of those early ones that they were giving out, they were going to be fucking worth of thousands. Like, for, for real, man. And I don't know, like, how is you're going to be generating revenue? Are you just going to be buying them? Um, you get to own them. And I, I like the designs a lot. They're very different from each other. And I see it also, like, you know, because the designs are kind of like... <laughs> in the back, uh, you know, they're kind of like also will probably appeal to a bit more older audience because the designs kind of look good. So I am very looking uh, forward to this and stay tuned for more videos about Blanco's definitely on the channel. But this one is the number one I would invest in if you're going to be choosing just the one project. Next up, we have the Sandbox. And god damn it, this is another fucking killer. This is another one that allows you to build a lot of the stuff, animate it. You can build your own worlds. You can, like, right now they're selling, like, virtual real estate. And I think this is going to be on Ethereum and I think also on a Sun, another multi chain, I think Engine. And this one is also going to be, I think this is going to be a little more editing friendly. Like, I mean, Blanco's is going to be a bit more like, um, not, I don't want to say non customizable, but the sandbox is going to be a bit more like those who are really into editing and creating stuff. And, I mean, you can create a lot of things. Look at this world. This looks a lot more appealing than Minecraft to me. And this is definitely one of those things that I'm also very excited about. They have a sale on right now going. And this is also going to be really huge. I just hope that when it comes to these games that they don't have really bad servers or anything, that they are not able to scale it up in case there's going to be just a sudden burst, you know, PewDiePie does a video, and then so many people jump in and start playing it. But be early bird on these and start building your own stuff. And you're going to... You know, there's been a lot of games, like... Um, can't remember the name right now. Um, Second Life, yes. And selling this type, look at the screen. This is like a one plant where which you can buy and can build it. Once you have like done all your art and craft, you can sell this. You can sell this plant. This what I'm looking out here could be five thousand dollars. Could be more than that. And I don't know how long this is actually take to edit these things. But if you're a really artistic person, you can sell this shit. So that is a very, very nice uh, thing. Because a lot, of, a lot of the editing of modding communities in games, you don't get shit. Like, you do mods on Steam, they're just, like, on handouts, basically. They have PayPal link and maybe somebody donates. But this is what the beauty is about blockchain. Everybody gets paid from their contributions. That's what blockchain is about. Um, aside from that being uh, censorship resistant. And then we have Lightbringer. Uh, this is going to be a Litecoins blockchain yeah and it's not really visually the most appealing when i look at the trailer it's basically a resource game and you have characters basically which can equip stuff it's like a very traditional rpg in that sense um but there's not like a combat or anything here here, here we can see a bit of the uh the world map, and I guess you go into different locations and you kill some monsters or something like that. That's not, I don't know if this is a pretty old video, so that didn't look graphically or visually that amazing. But then again, like this working on fully on Litecoin, right now it's on testnet, you can try it out, is very impressive. So is this is gonna be is this gonna be clogging the Litecoin network? I don't know, but you know me, I kind of named my channel after Litecoin, so uh, it's a project that I was very passionate about, and Litecoin can definitely scale if the block uh, block sizes get increased, and you know uh, they do the mimble wimble, which might go down. So uh, this is another game, you, as a Litecoin fan, you must be really excited about. And, you know, you can have already tried out and see how it works. And maybe I'll do a video about it on the down the road. But um, we'll be very excited to also see how the Lightbringer will turn out. I'm a bit scared about um, the capabilities of the blockchain. So I feel like the fees can be really high for it. But uh, let's see what happens. I mean, I'm optimistic. Uh, next up, we have War of Ants. This is going to be launching this month. This is kind of like one of those castle fight games. Um, this is not personally something that I'm interested about, but uh, it could be. 
I mean, visually it does look okay, like the models and everything, and there's been effort made into this. I just hate this genre of out of battlers and spamming units. Like, I just can't fucking stand it, but it's ideal for blockchain. And definitely another one you should keep an eye on. I don't know much about the tokenomics. It's going on engine. Uh, that's that's what they say here on July. It says the launch game for Android. And they're apparently looking for beta testers. Maybe hook me up and try me some engine. <laughs> I will be interested. But I mean, the models look very good. Uh, I'm just not really excited about mobile gaming in general. Even if it would be a really nice looking game, I will not play on mobile. You will not get me to play on mobile. I'm an old school gamer. I will not play on mobile. So uh, I hope that there's gonna be uh, like a, you know browser client for this one. Obviously, you can run a mobile emulator. Blue Stack is another one you can use, but another one also to look at. Uh, then we have Skyweaver, which is another card game. This one is kind of more a bit of an anime type of a style. Uh, it is currently on early access. Everybody can uh, get it right now and try it out themselves. It's a very nice looking game, I'm not gonna lie. I think I had the client for a while, but I'm not interested playing that much on testnet unless I'm like doing a sponsored review or something. So, but uh, visually I really like the art style. Our designs, the gameplay, it looks pretty good. Um, I think there's some trading system, their NFTs, and this is going to be on Ethereum or Engine, if I remember right. Another card game that is going to be appealing for different... These card games, like, you know, when we had the Dark Country one, that's going to be appealing to a different audience than this one. So uh, two, two of these games can, like, definitely coexist. And then you have even a Reddit co-founder, you know, having a quote here. So uh, it's definitely uh, one of those more promising ones, and... I'm not sure are they going to be selling them right now. There's going to be a wait list, so definitely sign up there. And I'm going to be still buying the cards, whatever, when there's going to be sale. Um, oh, there's a beta leaderboard, so if you're in top 1,000, you will get a rare Skyweaver. Okay, maybe I will actually download it later and do a video about it. And the last game, um, probably one of the more higher scale project, is called Dissolution. It's on Steam. As a rough version, some people have been kind of criticizing it. It's an FPS game, kind of, I don't know, it's kind of like trying to be CS or more like an Overwatch or a Call of Duty, but a very more higher end graphic style of a game. There's ship battles and then there's normal FPS battles. In my opinion, it's maybe too bit too high scale um, and that's why there's probably a lot of bugs at the moment, but I mean, I actually have one of these chests for this game. An NFT. And it was originally on Engine, and now it's not anymore. So who knows where it's going to be ending up. It's still on Ethereum. And you can see in the open sea, um, there's like already things being here on the sold, on the selling, on the sold. I can't even speak English right now. So um, definitely a game that could be also very good. People like weapon skins chest mechanics, a lot of promise, a lot of promise, 100%. A lot of CS items have sold for very, very high prices. And that's pretty much my rundown. Obviously, if you want to support my work, I feature a lot of uh, Ethereum-based projects. So I'm going to leave my Ethereum donation link. NFTs are appreciated, Ethereum tokens, you name it. And if you are, uh, you know, have a game going, coming, I mean, blah, blah, blah. I can do coverage for it, but you gotta drop me an email at lightlager at protomail.com and we, we, can, we, 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 <laughs> we can start discussions. But definitely I'm gonna be covering some of these games in the near future when they come out because I see a lot of promise them with them. My narrative is still the same. Gaming will be the one that will take us to the mass adoption. That's my words. Let's see if they actually uh, happen. But thanks for watching. Subscribe, like, blah, blah, blah. See you soon.